Quote, I want to see people who wear Hawaii chappal in a Hawaii jahaz. Prime Minister Modi said this a few years ago. And that's the subject of calling attention today. The Hawaii jahaz and the Hawaii chappal. Has the combination worked? More on calling attention. I want to see people who wear Hawaii chappal in a Hawaii jahaz. That was said by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Clever line. October 2016, the Prime Minister said that while inaugurating one of the union government's dream projects. Affordable regional air connectivity from one part of the country to another. Or the regional connectivity scheme. Uran. Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik. Uran. Smart acronym. Unlike the two dozen or so other forgettable acronyms created since 2014, frankly, I like the name Uran. But let's examine whether it has really taken off or been grounded in the last few years. Are those citizens who can afford Hawaii chappals really being transported from point Mo to point D in a Hawaii jahaz? Adding to this, many of the union government's decisions under the Uran three scheme are of serious concern. Some numbers of 774 routes awarded under the scheme, only 403 routes, about half, could not initiate operations. Of the 371 routes that did start operations, only about one out of three completed the three-year concession period. Of these, about half the routes could operate beyond three years, just about half. This means only 7% 7% of the initially awarded projects were operational as of 2023. And obviously questions will be asked on the methodology used to award these projects. And then of course the CAG report. The CAG report on Uran has been scathing. Multiple aviation experts I spoke to observed while the National Civil Aviation Policy of 2016 was touted as pro-passenger, pro-citizen, it was really a ploy by the union government to hand over India's national carrier to a chosen bidder. Now that policy diluted what is commonly known or referred to as Rule 5 by 20, five years of domestic operation before you are allowed to fly internationally. With this new rule, Uran short-circuited this requirement. As a result, what happened? By utilizing 20% of the airline's total aircraft capacity, any airline could conduct international operations. So in one swoop, the government has removed all the checks and balances which were needed for private players to ply on more profitable international routes. The Maharaja is dead. Long live the proclaimed king. <laughs>